Masu is live for us tonight in Petaluma, where residents have seen a steady stream of rain and wind throughout the day. Zach. Yeah, and the rain fairly light at the moment, but it certainly has been heavy at times. And as you just heard, there is uh, in the forecast some more rain on the way. So the big concern of first responders continues to be how saturated that soil is and the trees that are standing in it. And as we saw earlier today, it doesn't take much to bring one down. We're reading in the living room, and then we mm. saw some sparking. Outside Bonnie McDonald's home in Sebastopol, a large tree coming down Sunday night. And then a pop. The neighborhood going dark, her husband looking down from the upstairs window. Noticed that a power line was on the street. So he was able to convey that, and the fire department, pg and were here, lickety split. Police quickly closing off a section of Hayden Avenue. It took only a little wind to bring down the tree, exactly what first responders expected from this storm. A powerful atmospheric river system earlier in the month, leaving many trees with weakened root systems and an oversaturated soil. Fortunately, this household prepared. We've got flashlights, we have candles, I've got a gas stove. As the rain came down during the day, sometimes in sheets, mm number of roadways became inundated. There's a lot of water on those roads. Yeah, there's a lot of water. Ahead of the storm, some roads prone to flooding and mudslides preemptively shut down. Meantime, in Santa Rosa, as the rain began to so pick up, no, the Moreno's making a last-minute dash to the city's the free sandbagging one. station. Mom, we're on it. Right now, we'll, we'll be there in a little bit. Just off the phone with her 80-year-old mother. She's got standing water. It's time to go into the back of her door. So we just kind of want to block it off. And given that we're going to have a couple more days of good amount of rain, she yeah, gets so I worried, it, and wow. I don't want her fussing with sandbags. Yeah, hopefully they will, were able to get those bags to her. We've seen a lot of yards with standing water in them, and there's still quite a bit of water on the roads, too, so something to keep in mind if you're heading out right now. Julie? All right, Zach Soss reporting live tonight in Petaluma. Zach, thank you.